All right, now we're gonna be talking about UDL, User Defined List in IPSE. And that is essentially a group of people who will all receive the same uh, workflow command uh, at the same time, and then only one of them needs to action it. So a good example would be, um, you know, sending a blast email to everybody and one person answers it. So <clears throat> I imagine that UDLs would be a good spot for um, routing inside of workflow templates, um, which, you know, I just created a video um, not too long ago about how to use a workflow template. And so you could insert a UDL into a workflow template if you wanted uh, multiple people to be available to action it, um, but they didn't have to all action it, just one person. So I give you an example of, um, well, we'll use it in this tutorial to do awards. So in this organization, in this uh, training environment organization, the adjutant, the battalion adjutant has told the awards NCO that he would like um, all awards to come back to the battalion S1 before they go to the battalion commander. So what we will do is we'll create a UDL for all of the battalion HR representatives, all of the battalion S1 HR representatives, who, will then, who would then be able to action that before it went to the battalion commander. So in the workflow template, it would go command first sergeant commander, Battalion XO, or I'm sorry, Battalion Sergeant Major, Battalion XO, S1 UDL, and then Battalion Commander. And that may be a way to track the award externally. That may be a way so that the Battalion Commander, uh, I'm sorry, so that the Battalion S1 knows that it's going in, so they kind of have uh, the most up-to-date information about where it is without having to pull some kind of query. So there's a lot of uses for a UDL. Um, that you can use an IPSE uh, so to, to kind of augment or supplement the workflow template. So real quick, it's, it's super simple. I'm logged in as a Battalion S1 HR Pro. I will go over to the nav bar, click on Navigator. I will go to Manager Self-Service, Workflow, Save as Preferences. Now this may look familiar if you've watched the workflow uh, video. Um, because it's basically built in the same place. It's just a different, um, it's just a different command or a different function, if you will. So and rather than um, we're gonna, what we'd like to do is we'd like to select this menu to see if there are any user defined lists already created for this individual uh, or that are public. So this is a, a, a user defined list that was created and it says that um, it's for 27 Infantry and it's a UDL for PAR workflow template S1 supervisor review. So to me, that would mean that any PAR that goes through will be, will at some point before it's approved, go back to the battalion S1 for review, update a tracker, what have you. But for the purpose of this video, the um, battalion adjutant has told the S1 we want all awards to come back through the all awards to come back through our office before they get approved. Now I'll also click on this public button to see if there's anything out there and there's not. So this is very similar to creating a, a workflow template. We're going to hit the create button and we're going to start inserting all of our individuals into the UDL. Now we'll have uh, other videos with pars and awards that will have a UDL in the workflow template where you can see how that operates. And so just make sure you check the, make sure you check our videos, um, check the iCards video playlists, and there's lots of videos out there of how you'll be able to um, see it, kind of see how a workflow on a UDL works. But we're gonna just um, uh, create this user list name, and we're gonna say 27 Infantry Award, uh, we'll say Battalion S1, awards, you, uh, battalion S1 awards. And so um, all battalion S1, HR Pro, all battalion S1, HR Pro award review. Now keep in mind, there's only so much space in there to, to put stuff. 
And we're gonna leave this, we're gonna make this one public because we want all of our S1 people to be able to use this UDL. And then we're going to use the operator ID here to start adding people. So again, this is very similar to the workflow template, except you're grouping all the people into one command. You'd use all of these people in the workflow to as an intermediate or approver or what have you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding all of the Battalion S1 people uh, from this organization. Okay, now we're just gonna add the last person in, and as with the workflow, you'll just hit this plus sign to add an individual. We'll copy and paste the operator ID in there. And, oh, it says this person won't work. Now, I'm glad this happened because this individual is not an HR Pro. They are a promotions only. So we'll just go ahead and remove them because we cannot add them to the workflow, I'm sorry, to the user-defined list. Now it's created. We click Save, and it's done. It's that simple. Now, if we wanted to make a, UD, uh, a workflow template, for awards, we would simply go in, we'd create a workflow template, and as with the other video about workflow templates, we'd give it a very descriptive template name and description. We would either make it public or not, and then here we would select, it was an intermediate approver, and when it asks for the type, we'd select user defined list, and then we could click on this plus, this search menu here, and we would see all of the UDLs that are available. And then I would say, this is the one I want. Now, one mistake I made, you'll see, is that I didn't give it a name. I just used the numerical value that was assigned by Oracle. Now, what I should have done is given that a proper name, and I could actually go back into my UDL and do that. And so we're gonna knock that out. But before we leave, you'll see that now everybody that was on that user defined list I made will get notification that they need to action that whatever it is on that for that par or that award. And only one of them would need to action it before it went to the next person in the workflow template chain. So we're going to we're just going to ahead and close that. We're going to go back real quick to user defined list. We'll see my user defined list here. And I will attempt to change the name to something a little bit more descriptive. Uh, I cannot because it's already been saved. So in this case, what I would do is I would delete it and do it over again, knowing that I want to give it a user list ID that's very, very descriptive and unique. Now, that's it for user defined list. I hope you found this uh, lesson very useful. You can apply it to workflow templates. Um, please make sure you subscribe like the video and leave some comments down below as to what other types of things you'd like to see with regards to IPSA Release 3. Defend and serve.